Yeah, we'll start with Jack. We need standards. Evening, David. Um, first Hi, of all, just your thoughts on that performance and how valuable could that point be come the end of the season? Uh, well, I hope it's a really valuable point. But uh, look, our performance started OK. We started the game probably for 20, 30 minutes. We've done OK. But uh, we we didn't keep it up and I felt that we gave Leicester a bit of a lift by some poor decisions passing or choices of passes, which led to a couple of corner kicks, which led to giving them a chance to put some pressure because I felt in the main we were we were uh, not dealing with it quite well at that time. You're, you're obviously still fourth, but there, there feels a real chance for someone to, to kick on. There's not much consistency from all the sides going for that fourth spot at the moment. Did it? Does it feel like a chance wasted today, given the results no. yesterday? Look, we're playing a team who have won the FA Cup. We're playing a team who have not long been league champions. I think Leicester have been a, an unbelievable side. They've got some great players in their team. So I don't think it's a bad result. We beat Leicester at home and we've taken a point today at Leicester. So, you know, we've put, now played them twice in the league. And I think for us to take a return like that from Leicester is a really good, really good period of a, a really good points return. Yeah, would we like more? Of course we would have. Yeah, we want to kick on. We want to do everything what everybody wants is to try and keep up near the round the top four. But already we're 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 doing well, and the players are doing a great job. We're getting them to stay with it, and we're going to try and squeeze every last drop out of them. But we need to improve and, on on our form. And just finally, what happened with Kurt before? Kick off and how impressed were you with Issa Diop coming in so late? I thought Issa Diop played really well today, uh, but Issa was made aware that it was a good chance he's going to be playing because Kurt, Kurt wasn't well last night and was sick during the night and didn't didn't eat with us today and uh, stayed out of the meeting. So we've done that not because we were we were worried about. Uh, we just didn't want in case it was going to be anything else. We didn't want to, in case it was a COVID symptom or anything like that, but. It's been it's been sickness and uh, he just couldn't make it and he was really desperate to play. Here's David. Thanks, Jack. Uh, is it Graham Bryce? His hand up. Hi, David. Hi, Graham. Just to clarify with Kurt, it, it was a bug. It wasn't anything to do with the, the stress that he might be under or pressure. It's just sorry, Graham. He's just the manager just answered that question. There's no, nothing more to say on that. It was just a case that it was anything to do with the, the pressure that he's under at this moment. It's a gastrovirus, as Ben just, just explained. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Roshane? Hi, David. Hi, Roshane. Uh, just to follow up from Jack on the CD up, because um, I'm sure you're aware he's been under criticism this season, but you responded well at performance. Yeah, I think East is a really good player. I think his form's been a little bit up and down, but I think there's some some reasons for that. Uh, but we like Issa. We, we really do. We think Issa's got, I was going to say potential, uh, because but we but we feel as if because he's been here that long now, the potential should be out. He should be showing it. He should be maturing with it. He's got a lot of really good attributes, Issa. And I'm pleased he did play well. He, he done well today. He had a good game. And, uh, you know, uh, I couldn't turn around and fault him too much in, on anything he'd done. And, but as I said, he was he was made wet, well aware that it, it was he, a good chance that he might have to step in and he, he knew that himself from quite early on. You know, with Issa, is he, is he like a confidence player? You need to you know tell him he'll do well in order for him to feel good about himself? Uh, I think everybody needs confidence. I think he says that. I think all players, are, you know, when you're not quite on it, you're... But I think what you have to do is you have to find it yourself quite often. You have to, you know, make it happen, try and find ways of, of raising your own confidence by, you know, you know, depending on what position you play, you, you know, you make a good tackle, you make a good pass. It it builds your own own confidence. So I think sometimes as a player, you have to find your own way a little bit to get that back. Uh, and last question, just on Zuma, do you think he'll be the fall of Baron Tyler for the next league game? Do you think what? He'll, he'll fall fire for the next league game. He'll have recovered from uh, not feeling well. Well, if it's a if it's a sickness virus, I would expect so. But uh, and it was sickness, so I, I hope so. Cool. Thank you, David. Thanks, Shane. Tom Clark. Hi, David. Hi, Tom. Uh, can you just explain um, why you took Vladimir Sufal off? Uh, I thought we had real problems in the, in the second half down there, down there left or right. I thought we. 
we gave them a lift up in, in the first half a little bit, but I thought in the second half in the period, they got too much of the ball in that area and I didn't think we dealt well enough with it. We made the wrong decisions, the wrong choices, positionally wise. And uh, I needed to try and uh, change the way the game was going and certainly on that side of the pitch. Was there um, any thought to take Aaron Creswell off today? Well, I think Aaron might have come into that category as well, Tom. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it uh, David Armitage? David Stalden? Hi, David. Hi, David. How are you doing? I, I, I know you're probably sick and fed up with this subject, but I just wondered, were you aware of the fans' chants that your, your fans were making about the Kurt Zuma thing? No, I never... I'd, Hard enough hearing at my age, never mind trying to hear what the fans are shouting. But uh, but no, I didn't know. It's okay. I it was just they were sort of seem to be making light of it. I know the club haven't made light of it, and that you've yeah. you've dealt with it. You know. Thank you. Yeah, we've that. Thanks, David. James Nursey. Hi, David. Evening. Hi, David. James. Sorry, James. We I saw um, Bowen hobbling at the end, I think. I mean, there's an England squad coming up, isn't there? How, how, how is he and uh, what are your hopes for him maybe getting some international recognition after his latest goal? Thanks. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, uh, he, he took his goal brilliantly well. Again, I've not seen it again, so I couldn't do it, but from the touchline, his connection with the ball, no, struck it lovely. And uh, he made a really good run to get in. He got, he got a real bad clash of shins in early in the first half when he had injury. So I think that's what he was limping with. I think it was probably the the, the blow to that. Uh, look, he's a real robust boy, Jared. Very rarely misses training, plays the games. You know, does great great numbers in every game for us. He's running his effort as well. So, uh, you know, we're really pleased. It was it was a good goal, and actually, it was one in the second half which got cut back to him, and he just didn't quite get connection uh, or a good enough connection, or he might have had a second. So. He's, uh, he's certainly coming up with the goals for us and we need it at the moment. Thanks very much, James. That's everything. We'll leave it there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thank you.